Gray, Lexi Brinkley, Aviana Barrientos, and Elizabeth White. Uh, Elizabeth has a degree in fashion merchandising and experience as a clothier at Tom James, a men's apparel company here in Dallas. Is it in Dallas only? Yes. Okay. They're still around. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, all over the country, actually. Oh, are they? They're yeah. national. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she's also trained in uh, Reiki yoga, uh, trained level one in this ancient healing art of deep relaxation, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Her other calling is closet therapy, which liberates the organizationally challenged uh, people out there listening. So she That's is me. the closet <laughs> therapist who loves to work with you, the energy of you and enhance, rediscover, and love your wardrobe. You can find her at Rediscover Your Closet. Uh, Dot co. Um, okay, so let's talk about this. So you talk about minimalism. Why is that so good for you? Well, there's several factors. I was just reading an article um, here about minimizing what you have. Um, a psychologist named Sherry Carter said clutter can play a significant role in how we feel about our homes, our workplaces, and ourselves. Messy yeah. homes and workspaces leave us feeling anxious, helpless, and overwhelmed, yet rarely is clutter recognized as a significant source of stress in our lives. Oh, gosh, I couldn't agree more. And I I'm could, very yeah. visual. Like, I have to even straighten up my counter. Everything has to be tidy before I leave my house during the day, uh, you know, in the daytime. Right. I don't like to, I just, I can't stand to see clutter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I hate that. But my closet is a little cluttered. I really need to get in there. It's been, I mean, it's been years since I organized my closet, but I don't buy a lot of stuff. What I buy, I buy high quality. So it lasts a really long time because um, I know that you were speaking before off, off the air uh-huh. about food and clothing being two of the biggest things that end up in landfills and that we have the highest percentage of waste in this country. Can we talk about that? Yeah, there's a NPR article, um, one of the TED Talks that actually highlights that. And so it's called Circular. It's actually on my Facebook page if anybody wants to read okay. it or I can send them a link. But yeah, I feel like we're now becoming more conscious of you know, food being, you know, sourced locally, but we're not about clothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you talk to women and you say, oh, that's such a cute shirt. Where'd you get it? And they're like, Target, $5. Yeah. And you're like, but that's not like a, like, why are we proud of that? You know, that's like, it takes so much work to get there. It's made at a sweatshop. Mm -hmm. It's made in China. And we're just, you can't empower women in this country and then not have the process in another country, oh, which is agree. on my Instagram More. page mm-hmm. about that. And I think we're just not conscious of it. So that's yeah. kind of my calling is to help people think yeah. about it. And I guess it, it depends upon the piece too. It makes me think of, I, so there was this black target, like a uh, sweater dress. We're going, um, this is from like 10 years ago. I bought four of them, $20 a piece. And I wore them so much that some, I wore them down until they literally had holes in them. <laughs> yeah. I would re, um, you know, iron yeah. them and wash them and always had at least two on a hanger ready to go and just change up my boots or my belt or my jacket or whatever. And I actually saved money and saved the environment. So there are, you know, a couple of things that you could, you know, use as an example that actually yes. help save the money or help save the earth. If it's a, and it was a classic black, I mean, you can't get more classic, right. a classic black sweater dress. Right. So, I mean, there's different ways. There's so many secondhand shops now that support, yeah. you know, people and animals. Buffalo Exchange. Right. Or yeah. there's just secondhand treasure that Mm -hmm. is for Elpo. Um, They're a rescue local off Northwest Highway. And so that is where I've been donating some things. So like if we're just conscious about we already have so much. Yeah, absolutely. Before we go buy more, my process is to come to see how I can Take what you already have and make that work for you right. before you just go shopping. Yeah, and it's important to give it away while it doesn't um, decondition, if you will, like sitting in your garage for a couple of years, or the heat right. and the cold. Um, give it to give it away while it's fresh. You know, be proactive about it. Yeah. What were you going to say, Lexi? You were going to say something a minute ago. I think I was just going to ask, like, where then do you shop to like do you, like preserve instead of buying all these clothes that are cheaply made right it's like where where do you go other than secondhand shops um you know there's a lot of different sources like i have a line that i carry the one with ruby ribbon um and that's on my website so i know that's quality pieces that come that you can you know buy little things that are fun to accessorize that Mm -hmm. and that's why i feel like how i come in and be creative but secondhand shopping you know Mm -hmm. buying more quality over quantity i love buffalo exchange i forget about that place and so if we started shopping more secondhand 
there's so many stores and so many places I just kind of have come to realize. Yeah. And, but we also have to solve, I don't like to put a Band-Aid on the problem. We have to solve our mindset of why we keep buying. It's, you know, it's so also. So why do we? What, what's, why are we so screwed up? Why do we keep <laughs> buying? I think it's just, you know, the it's way satisfying. we're programmed in society. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you can become an addict to alcohol, drugs, all of it, there's just as many people that have shopping addiction. Oh, as absolutely. Sure. Men, I mean, too. Men just buy right. different things than women. They may go to Costco True. and get, like, a bunch of stuff, but it's also, look at Amazon. I'm, yeah, I was about to say, what about Amazon? I'm the only person I know that's never ordered off Amazon or has an account, because I know that would trigger something of me to buy more than I need. Yeah. And I'm one person, like... I, I follow dogs. I follow a couple bloggers and they've all been posting about these leggings that are supposed to be the best leggings and everyone has them in eight different colors and I'm like do you need that many leggings? You don't. No. You don't. Like, like you could go what? to Ruby Ribbon and get you know what I mean like one quality pair versus eight of the same yeah. legging. Right. Like I think it's just the way we're programmed to th- like th- we have to change the way we think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and uh, you know, it, it's all connected. I, a lot of people don't make enough money. They're not paid enough right. money to even feed themselves or their family well, you know? Right. I, I know I'll probably upset a lot of people by saying this, but I think the minimum wage is, re- in some ways, like, it, it's ridiculous. It you is. Should, you really should pay people what they're worth and right. not, and there should be no, and, and I, I just think it's, I think it's far too low. Yes. Unless you're a teenager or something and you're just starting out. Right. That's very different than trying to, you know, live be, on your own. Live on your own in your 20s there's no way you can do that in, at minimum wage or even you know a couple of bucks over minimum wage right. it's just not even possible you're right so, i think it's just the cost of our living is going up and we're right. not making more. I mean, that I just but had a put, conversation with people about yeah, this. But you know that that cheapness mentality, yes. okay, is what affects everything. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, it just it's all connected. Yep. But if you think outside the box, there's way to to shop secondhand and get better quality pieces. We yeah. just think, you know, we don't think we're like, oh, I just need to go to Walmart to pick it up. Well, may- maybe you can go to a secondhand store and yeah. pay the same amount. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just how we how we and, operate and how that cycle in our head goes absolutely so. and, and and i think if you've got good taste you can shop anywhere and you yeah. can yeah. cultivate your taste too by by t- you can you can ha- take more risks on fashion if you go to a place like buffalo exchange for right. example yeah. or what are some of the other ones plato's closet mm-hmm. this is for women's what what are there any for men and you can empty your or do closet they, they have men's clothes at plato's and they buffalo do? exchange yeah okay. they do yeah. yeah and then on i live off by the arboretum so there's three there's second chances which um, benefits animal rescue there's three right there on garland road that i I just like myself just frequented and I've lived there for yeah. four years and I'm like, why have I not been shopping in these stores wow. before? Cause they're right here and they all benefit things that we would be proud of. Right. You, yeah. know, you can find some real treasures, like absolute treasures. You know, when I was telling the story the other day about the Texas Hold'em mm-hmm. uh, with, um, oh my goodness. What's his name? Oh my God. Come on, you guys. Jason Witten. Jason, Jason Witten. Yes. Thank Jason, you. Jason, Jason Witten. Um, the, dress, <laughs> the dress that I had on was a Versace. I bought it vintage. I bought it used. Oh, cool. I got it for a fraction of what it right. originally sold for. And the, and the, and the dress is still beautiful. I, you know, it's, it'll rock for another 20 years because it's quality. Right. You know, and it's never going to go out of style because it's timeless. So, like, that black dress makes more sense than the Target one, you know, to me. Mm, yeah. And so how yeah. we just kind of look at that. But that's what I like to see someone's closet first. Be educated about what they have, and then help them with that process yeah. of shopping. Yeah. So, but my Target dress, I can wear. I can wear out. I can't wear Versace out. You know, it's a strapless. Can't just wear yeah. It. I couldn't wear it to work. Uh, maybe. I mean, you could. You I could. think you should. <laughs> I think you oh should wear it tomorrow. Right. We'll what take about a the Versace dress? Right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'll wear it tomorrow. We'll yeah. post it on our social media. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with us. You got to come back more often. It has been far too long since you've been in the studio. We have so much to talk about. Everyone, thank you so much for listening, and I want to give a big Big shout out to our sponsors, great companies like the H Hemp Company, Sun Warrior, Crazy Water, Paleo Magazine, The Wellbeing Journal, and the International Society of Sports Nutrition. You get one body, you get one mind, and you get one life. Get out there today and make the most of it.